Alrighty, we're back in Dark Realms 4, Kingdom of Death. We're, uh, we are playing as Persephone right now. We have some old nails, a skull knob, a broken ladder, a handsaw, and a shield. And I have no idea what we're supposed to do with all this. I don't think we can do this. A horse figurine is missing, exactly. Um, yeah, no, I just... It's, uh, I don't know. Uh, available... Okay, so we have an available action right here. We're trying to... Make a star. Oh, I see. We we're gonna casually. Um, alright. Cut boards for a ladder from Giant's Spoon. Cunning Fox. Alright. Um, whoops. Sorry. Okay. Well. Oh. This is a perfect place to create a new star. Um, Alright, but like... That didn't do much, so what do we actually do now? Oh, shield. Hammer and an axe, here we go. We got a ladder. It's a magic bridle and a nail puller part. Cool. Thanks. Horseshoe. I need to open this box somehow with my half of a nail puller? Axe? No? Oh, wait, 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 horse. Place each of the animals on its constellation. Study the constellation's outline to see which animal fits where. Um, sure, that is obvious. How, how, how is this a bear? I don't, I don't understand. When I was young, there were no stars. One day I met a beautiful nymph named Melissa. She was walking barefoot in a meadow. Each time she took a step, a flower appeared. I fell in love with her and decided to give her a beautiful flower. But the flower wouldn't be on Earth. It would be in the sky. Every time she laughed, my heart filled with joy, and a new flower appeared in the sky. That's how the stars were made. Cruel people cut down the forest and burned our meadow. With Melissa gone, I had no joy left. Now my place is here. There's no joy in the underworld. Astraeus cannot create a new star with a broken heart. Interesting how he, like, became, like, in, in those, um... Like, uh, cutscene drawings that he, he suddenly grew immensely and became, like... A lot bigger than her, more than before. Task complete. Oh, past the gates. Alright. Hades Garden. Such 
such a hurry, dear niece. Stay with me a little longer. <laughs> you can walk wherever you like in the underworld. Cerberus will make sure you don't leave the kingdom. New task, Team Kerberus. Kerberus is nothing but a cranky puppy. I'll find a way to distract him. Uh, I need to crush these nether flowers. Oops. Crush nether flowers in this chalice to create a portal to the living world. A flower from the real world would certainly cheer Astraeus up. This branch could be useful, but I can't tear it off. Wooden pestle. Alright. Sit, boy. Drat. It always works when Uncle Haiti says it. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why. What could this obelisk be here for? Uh. Okay, but here. Oh, cool. Alright, crushed nether flowers. There we go. I need something to dig with. Open all of the flower buds. Opening one flower may cause another to close. Oh, 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 five mini games not skipping. Okay. What could this obelisk be here for? All right, we've already discussed that. There you go. Lovely flower. A flower? Is it what I think it is? It couldn't be. Melissa. How did you find such beauty in this dreadful place? It's bringing back such wonderful memories. Thank you for bringing me some joy, Persephone. Now I can help you with the star. Task complete. Time to change to Elias. I don't know what you did, but there's a new star in the sky. Now we'll know where to sail. There's just one more thing standing in our way. If Poseidon sees the ship, he'll sink it. We need the right amulet to hide us. Take this shovel and look in the sand. Maybe you'll find something useful. All right, thanks. Should probably go check for collectibles more with Persephone before this, but okay. Perhaps we can use some of Poseidon's own magic against him. Hi, the ship from Poseidon. Uh, collectibles. Okay, 
that's new, so... No, okay, there was actually apparently nothing because it's like here and then suddenly there. So apparently there was nothing down there. Cool. Alright, the key is likely lost at sea. I'll try picking the lock instead. Why? Right, we got some more golden olives and we have an amulet. Excellent, you found amulet of invisibility. You found the amulet. We're ready now. Set sail for the underworld. to deceive me you should have listened to my warning prepare to die Thank gods I made it alive and mostly unharmed, though my clothes are a bit ragged now. Hope Mer Merope managed to get to the shore safely too. New task, get into the city on the cliff. I need something to cut these vines. The mosaic is incomplete, two parts are missing. I need something to breathe underwater. Alright. Rusty knife. Go. Bunch of vines. Suffering from insomnia? Wandering from the spring and you'll sleep like a baby. Recommended by Morpheus himself. This is Morpheus Spring. Is its water really as soporific as I've heard? Oh, the soporific mean like lulling you to sleep or whatever? Hello. A hungry crab can be dangerous. What do crabs like to eat? Um, I think they like eat, they eat like corpses and stuff like they eat like dead tissue, whatever. Probably other things as well, but there could be something useful. But it's dark here. Excellent! You found broken sword. I can't jump to the other side. I need some kind of a hook to get there. Vine rope. Well, that was a mistake. Okay. Um. Two stone wings. Okay, I don't see any logic whatsoever in how any of these the items I have are gonna help me in any possible way. But okay. Here. Oh yes, yeah, scavengers! Scavengers. Scav oh yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. Okay, okay. Oh come on. Just pick it up and give it to the crab. Seriously. Okay. What? 
What is your problem? I need something thin to pull these barrels. Okay, fine. Alright, got metal rings. Something heavy can bend these rings. Okay. Vine rope. With hook. Alright. Grappling hook. Whoa. Okay. Uh, find your way through this labyrinth. Find and use the objects from the labyrinth to get rid of eagles and stones. Um. Oops. All right. I suppose you're supposed to do this. Yay! I have that. And then I could... Oh, not go that way. Alright. I can go this way now? Yay! Whee! The great cat of cliffs climbed up the cliff. Wow! But a few I finally managed to climb up. Now I need to get into the city. What a lot of olives. I need to find something to collect them in. Not my sealed M4, that's for sure. Gladiator games cancelled. Uh something to the anger of the gods. Due to the anger of the gods. Um, did, did the Greeks have gladiators? I'm skeptical. Um, I maybe I missed something, but I'm I'm kind of skeptical to the old Greeks. Are we? Are we? Actually, it's an amphitheater. Like, are we okay? We're apparently suddenly in Rome with Greek gods. Sure. I mean, the Romans incorporated a lot of different gods into their own pantheon and stuff. They had, they, it seemed like they had kind of their own, their, their own stuff from the beginning, but then like, especially Greek gods, they incorporated with their own and their own like grew more to be like the, the Greek gods, but they also had like Isis and stuff like that in their, um, or uh, Egyptian gods and uh, stuff in their pantheons, but um, I thought we were doing Greek, but apparently not. I, I need something thin to pull the pieces. This is the perfect costume. Now how to get it? I need an emerald turtle. Hello, stranger. You're a mess. You must have gotten caught in that awful storm. Oh, I'm guessing you need new clothes. Well, my husband went sailing and never came back. Get me a pearl from the bottom of the sea and you can have his clothes. These are rough times for my family. Trade hasn't been what it used to be. Not like in the old days when there were beautiful gardens blooming on the neighboring island. The golden chariot of Helios is still on the temple on that island, you know. Uh, here. This will help you breathe underwater. You found tube. I need to find a pearl for this poor woman. Get to the golden chariot. Okay, Helios. It's a sun god. No, no, no. It could be Greek. Okay, okay. Never mind me. Um. No one will hear me if I pound on this with just my hands. Stop right there. Who are you? 
A hero, eh? Ha! Heroes like you are a dime a dozen around here. If you want in, you'll need to find some decent clothes. Assuming you can afford them. Get out! You found sharp stick. Well, he made it clear. No decent clothes, no entry. Uh, something's missing here. Alright. Um, let's... Open this. Oh, Emerald Turtle! We'll keep that on Fora. Uh, fork. Alright, let's go get that pearl, but in the next episode, because time is up! So thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see ya!